Hey lovelies, Carl and Nicole. So I just popped in for a second. I'm not gonna be here long. Um, but I just wanted to um, touch base a little bit on some some things that I kind of have noticed. Um, that's kind of trending um, amongst um, people that are in relationships. I'm seeing a lot of ladies and even gentlemen kind of, I don't know, almost in a, it's almost like, it's like a vortex, almost like, um, kind of like a frustration because there's like a lot going on where, you know, in the relationship, um, the person isn't really sure where the person of interest or the person they want to be with or the um, mate or partner or wife or whatever, what have you, they are with. Um, it's kind of frustrating to a lot of my clients that are coming to me. They're frustrated because they find themselves spending a ton of time trying to um, convince the person of interest or convince the person they want to be with um, why they should be. So I wanted to come on here real quick and just give you my take on, um, essentially speaking, like when you're talking about a relationship, hey Delano, when you're talking about being in a relationship, man, it's not hard, but a lot of times we make it hard because we make so many things um, based upon um, what the other person wants or what the other person needs. And a lot of times we're not really sure if that person really gets our value. So what do we do, right? We often sit back and we have to sit back and think about, well, how am I going to convince this person that I'm valuable? How am I going to convince this person that I am for them? Um, how do I make sure that the person I'm interested in or have a, you know, a liking for or have a love for, how am I going to get them to see me? How am I going to get them to see I am truly who they need in their life. And so we spend a lot of time doing what? Hey, Andrew. Hey, Aropo. Um, how are we? What are we going to do? I mean, how do we do everything, right? We try to, uh, without verbally, we don't have to verbally try. Now, when I say convince, we don't have to verbally convince them. But in our actions, we want to show them by doing what? By pleasing them, right? We want to please them. We want to do everything to keep them happy. We want to make sure they see that we have a value. So we go the extra mile, right, to make sure that this person that we're trying to make ours, per se, or in a relationship with, um, we're trying to make sure that we get them to see us. So what do we do? We spend a lot of time, man, trying to make sure that person sees us by our actions. So it doesn't always mean... That we're verbally trying to convince the person we're interested in that we're valuable and worthy to be with. But we also show it in our actions because we're outdoing ourselves to please that person, to do anything we can for that person, to be that person's everything, to make sure that person don't overlook and not see us. So we do whatever we can to make sure that person um, is satisfied, right? But I want y'all to think about something really quick. Be honest in yourself. Are you spending a lot of time trying to please that person or show that person your value because you're not sure that you're valuable enough to be in anybody's life? Not necessarily per se that person, but are you sure you are the one to be valued in anyone's life? It doesn't have to be the person of interest. It could be just anybody, even in friendship. So I want y'all to think about this. If you're tripping over yourself to try to make sure that you're showing someone how important they, sh they should see you in their life, you're overexerting yourself and doing too much, listen, be you, and you in your totality is enough. And the person that truly wants to be with you can see that. You don't got to do all that. You ain't got to jump through hoops. You don't have to spend your last dime. You don't have to spend your last moment with them to get them to see you. 
anything that's supposed to be of value, I don't care if it's relationships or friendships or family or, or anything, a job, whatever comes in your life that's valuable, you're supposed to have it regardless. You don't have to do all of that to please somebody. You don't have to spend your time telling a man why he should be with you. And gents, you don't got to pay all this money out to a lady and show her how you love her based upon what you buy her. I, I, well, I got to make sure she knows I can take care of her. She don't need to know that. Because if she's with you because of what you can provide her, she ain't with you for you. She's with you for what you can give her. So this is stuff we got to sit back and look at. We got to look at what is it we really truly want to do in our lives. Hey, Yolanda. What are we really wanting to do in our lives, in our relationships? Do we really want to have somebody care about us? Or do we really want them to care about what they get because they're with us? There's a whole different understanding. And then why are we trying to do so much to please someone else? You will exhaust yourself. And nine times out of ten, you're doing all of that. And that's not what's going to make them happy. One thing that I learned from my dad told me all the time. Ask a man to stand in front of you and make you happy. I had to ponder on that for a minute. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, Pop. I get it. He said, nobody can make you happy but you. And I thought to myself, well, I'll be. Okay. Period. There's no other way around it. He says, don't nobody else know what you want but yourself. Okay. Those are hard facts. That was wisdom I got when I was like about 16. Dad told me, no man's going to make you happy. I don't care what he does. I don't care, I don't care how much money he spends on you. Not going to make you happy. That's not what it is. I'm like, okay. So what I, why I wanted to pour that out on y'all on y'all is because I got a lot of people, a lot of my clients are telling me how frustrated they are because the person they desire doesn't show them the same. Or isn't, isn't showing or reflecting that they feel the same about them. That's fine. They may, they may care about you. But it may be to only a certain level. It may be to the level that they're capable of caring about you. But that doesn't mean that they don't care. We just spend a lot of time in our phase of thinking. That we expect someone to care in the same I don't know, element that we do or in the same to the same degree that we feel. But it's not always the case. Sometimes we just need to sit back and stop trying to overexert our energy and convincing somebody to be with us because that's not necessarily that is not necessarily the case. Sometimes we just have to sit back and understand that while we have beautiful people in our lives and we have relationships come and go in our lives. It's fine, but we don't have to spend time focusing on how do we make that person happy? How do we have, how do we convince them that we should be, they should be with us? We don't have to convince someone meant to be with you will be somebody that desires to be with you will be. There's no ands if or but there's no gray area. They just will be period. It's just that simple. We make stuff so complicated, man. We just got to sit back and say, if somebody's meant to be here, they will be. Period. I don't have to overexert. And gentlemen, I'm, I'm telling God this all the time. Gentlemen, you do not have to pay your way into a woman's heart. Matter of fact, if a woman really loves you, she should want to see you for who you are. Not based upon what car you drive. What kind of job you got, what kind of house you own, that shouldn't even be anywhere in her mind if she's seeking to be with you. If a woman is looking at what you can provide her, she's not for you. She's for what you can give her. Period. And ladies, if you're only focused on what a man can provide you, you got to get past that. We are enough individually. We in ourself, in our soul, in totality, we're enough alone, period. So by us being enough by ourselves and in our totality, coming into someone's life or being in someone's life is an enhancement. It is not, it is not to fulfill you or make you somebody greater. It is to enhance your life. 
you are great on your own. Okay. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick and tell you guys, it's very important that we get past thinking that it's so important that we have to convince someone to be with us or convince somebody that we are valuable. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do it verbally. You don't have to, you don't have to plea your case as to why a woman or a man should choose you. It shouldn't even be a controversy. If they're there in your space, obviously they find you valuable. Now, if they want to take it to the next level, let it, let it be on its own. Let it evolve. Stop putting all these expectations on what you want. Just let things happen accordingly, naturally. We have a lot of times we try to put all this extra heat and demand and, and command on relationships. And we're not allowing it to just evolve and be what it should be on its own. Beautiful. You know, a lot of the beautiful relationships that I've seen evolve over the years has been because of actually just becoming on its own. No, no, not, not merely trying to hurry it up and trying to make it be. It just is. I'm telling you, when you find a real relationship to be phenomenal and beautiful, you notice that people are not focused or trying to make it happen. It just is. So you don't have to convince nobody to be with you. You don't have to enforce that they do what they need to do to be with you. It will happen naturally. And in that happening, you will see, oh my God, this person really values me anyway. I don't even have to do all this. I, I don't have to go all out of my way to try to make somebody see me. You don't. Because trust and believe, when somebody is on the same frequency with you and they really want to be with you, they will be. With no question. It's not It's not so hard. We are out here thinking everything is so hard. We have to, we want a relationship so bad, it's so hard. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let's just engage each other. Let's just take our time. Hey, Levi, let's just take our time. Let's stop trying to make things more than they are. If somebody wants to be with you, I'm telling you, somebody wants to be with you, they see you for your for who you are, they're not here to try to convince. It just is. And it takes less stress off of you. Because now, your space and time that you are spending with each other is now valued to the degree of we actually engage and relate and see each other for who we are. We're not spending time trying to, well, do you see me? Can you understand that I'm the perfect woman for you? Hey, do you see I'm the best guy for you? Look how I buy you stuff. Not necessary. Cause and, and just to let you know, you can be with somebody and they're not what you need. But they're providing you with stuff. And then your relationship is based off of what? Stuff. And it's not fulfilling you at all. Because you're just sitting around in a mansion full of stuff. And, and uh, a home is not even in the basis of that. You just got a nice, big, beautiful home with no love in it. <laughs> so that's just silly. It's really silly. And people are doing it all the time. Oh, I just want this stuff. You'll get what you ask for. Be careful. We'll ask for stuff, we'll ask for relationships, we'll ask for this and that, and you'll get what you're asking for. But when it comes time to really wanting a relationship, a solid relationship, where you care about the person, you don't need all that stuff to keep you engaged with them or in a relationship with them. It just is, with stuff or without it, because you guys are supposed to be together, period. So we don't have to do all that, but again... I just wanted to hit y'all with some truths real quick. Stop trying to convince somebody to be with you. They will. They don't have to have a convincing. They don't have to, they don't have to sit in and seed and root and, oh my God, I want to be with her. Or I want to be with you. So I'm going to do that to make sure to be that. So you see me. You don't have to do all that. You don't. Just be. And enjoy and enjoy sharing the time. Because as you know, when you share your time with each other. When you share your time with each, with each other, you don't have to um, force it and, and, and try to be this, you know, goddess and try to be this uh, perfect woman and I did everything for him and he didn't see me. Like, you don't have to do all that. A man's going to see you, period. 
If he's if he if he really cares about you and and takes the time out and he wants to see you, oh, he's gonna see you. You don't even have to do all that. You don't have to trip over yourself and spend all this money and do all these things and ask for him to see you. You don't. He's going to see you, period. Same with Jews. Y'all don't got to do all that. Y'all ain't got to trip over yourselves and go bankrupt to try to show a woman you care about her. If she, if she feels that you care, she'll see you, period. You ain't got to do all that. But a lot of times I'm seeing a lot of dudes out here they going to their last dollar. Just to just to show a woman that he cares for you. You ain't got to do that. I tell brothers all the time and, and dudes like, bruh, you don't got to spend all your last money on the woman. She'll see you regardless. You ain't got to do all that. Because if she really cares about you, she will care about you, period. With or without your money. And a real woman don't care about that. Not real women. Real women care about the time you spend with them. What are you pouring into my life, man? That's what means something. Money comes and goes for real. But I'm just telling you, it gets to a point when you got to sit back and relax and say, you know what? I can be the best thing for anybody. I don't have to spend my time convincing or trying to overexert myself for somebody to notice it. Because the person that really, truly does notice it and is supposed to will point blank, period. Just here to let y'all know that. And um, let me see what you guys are talking about over here. Levi said, keep it a buck. He said, we don't respect our differences. This is the truth. We became too damn materialistic. We need to get back to the basics. Absolutely. Yolan says, um, I would tell brothers all the time, if, it, if she wasn't giving play when you was down and out, now she thinks you're attractive now that you're doing well. Is that brother fault? Is that the brother's fault as well? Passing up women who loves them for who you are, yet they stuck in the past with those who doesn't love with the hundred percent, like the women that you pass up. Very true. Levi said automatically. Um, facts. Yep, I traveled three thousand miles to see a woman. New York to L.A. Absolutely. Great topic. Great video. Thank you, loves. I appreciate y'all so much. But like I said, I just want y'all to know, you don't have to overexert, man. You are enough. A man or a woman that needs to see you will. A woman that wants to value a true, the true ambiance of what you're bringing to the table, she don't care about what you're making because she got her own. Real women, I'm not here for that. <laughs> I tell her, bro, don't be showering me with stuff. Not even all them compliments. I don't need them. I'm not here. You're not here for that. If you want to pour into my life and give me something valuable, I love it. Yes, I appreciate it. Yes. But if you call coming over here talking about, oh, this and oh, that and stroking the ego, I don't need that. I'm not, look, I'm not needy for that. But when a man wants to come in and pour into my life, that's a whole nother level. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And then let's also understand it is privately important that we know how important it is we can advance ourselves. We don't need someone else to make us whole. We're whole on our own. Remember, we came into this life alone. And we leave alone, most likely. So we're, we're all we need. We are. But at the end of the day, when we want to partner with someone, we don't have to convince them. They just know. All right? I want y'all to have a wonderful Friday. For those of y'all who are going to be at the show on, uh, or at the video chat on Sunday at 10 o'clock, Hey, I'm going to be sharp. It's called Essentially Speaking. We are going to get it in. Make sure you hit your hit that, that like button. If you want to be a part of the video chat on Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, please inbox me or hit the like button right now. I'm going to talk about Essentially Speaking, what's going on in our sex lives and how we can improve it. That's what we're going to talk about on Sunday evening. And then also... On Sunday afternoon at 12 p.m., I'm still doing my live show, so I'm going to be talking about jumping into the pool of unknown. This is about the transformation series. How do we deal with jumping into the pool of unknown? Can we handle that? We're going to talk about that Sunday, all right? And if you have not yet signed up for my course called Learn to Unlearn, I need you guys to get on that. Learn to Unlearn. You've got to sign up today. 
because it's coming very quickly that I'm doing this course. It's going to be dropping very soon. Most likely sometime next week I'm going to drop that course. You guys have got to take this course. This course is to instill and help you improve your life. It's about transforming and transformation in your life. Learn to unlearn. I want you guys to make sure that you guys are going to sign up for that course. That course is very affordable. You guys will, I'm telling you, you do the work, it's going to change your life. All right? So I will drop the links in here so you guys can be a part of Learn to Unlearn. You guys can be a part of the Centrally Speaking video chat. We're going to get it in. I'm going to talk about some serious intimacy problems going on in the bedrooms of many relationships. And we're going to figure out how do we heal. Because I'm trying to bring relationships back to intimacy. Back to beauty. Back to back to um, the beauty we used to be in. I came from that crop. My parents, my uncles, my aunts, my family, cousins, and all of us, we were from a merry family and a harmonious family. And I want to see that get back to what it was. It's not because it's a lot of broken people. So at this point, I'm going to go into the bedrooms. I'm going to go into the minds of people. I'm going to heal people. That's what I do. I'm a wisdom coach. If you don't know that, then you can go over to my page called Carla Nicole's Wisdom Coaching Services. If you need some coaching... I'm out here. 8445 wisdom to call me. And we can get that together as well. So I'm always moving. But I'm also always about healing and empowering and, and really impacting this community. We need to get better than what we're doing. But again, um, like I said, make sure you sign up for all of those things. If you're not sure what I got going on, inbox me. I'll give you all the details. That's what I'm here for. All right, lovely. So I'm out of here. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you Sunday sharp right here on Facebook Live. I'm going to be talking about how do you handle the pool of unknown and jumping into that pool. Can you do it? We're going to talk about it Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day, guys. Bye.